such a long way, darling. Yes, mom, I'm ready now. We've got so much time to go. So let around. I know they are always talking, talking to the ground. But just remember all of the love, love we have found. It seems that someone's always talking. Tools coming down. In this video, we do some more jobs on Everlong, take her out for our first few days on our own, and have the Reese family come to visit. What's going on up there? Mounting the solar panels. You. G decides he can wire up the solar panels away from the marina, so we go play chicken with some fairies. Probably a rule about how close you can get the fairies. Time for a quick swim and then back to work, wiring up solar panels, radar, GPS and alfresco lighting and hopefully internet. Trying to get more cables through more tight spaces. We've just plugged the solar panels in. What's it say? It says 23 watts. It should be 400. Huh. With the solar semi working and the cables miraculously in place, we enjoy a beautiful sunset. We've just left out of the Anchorage, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, the wind's perfect, it's sort of between 12 and 15 knots and we're just bobbing along 6 to 7 knots, really comfortable. So it's a nice enjoyable sail at the moment. We're back at the marina now. The wind picked up a little, a uh, bit unexpectedly. We're only supposed to get nine knots today, uh, but it was a lot of fun, except for one point where we knew when we were cutting between two islands, there was one tiny little shallow point marked at six meters, uh, and we're trying to avoid it as best we could, but then suddenly watching the depth gauge and it went eight meters, six meters, four meters. Um, and we've got a draft about 2.3, so a little bit close for comfort. So we had to turn on the engine and go as hard as we could into the wind. And luckily we didn't run aground on anything. So, it's the first full day we've got our solar panels up and working. And check out the weather outside. Next job, servicing the engine. G managed to get the engine serviced just in time for TR, Romy and Charlotte to arrive. First step, send the boys out for essential supplies. Beer, ice cream, more beer and ice cream. Okay. Yeah, right. Supplies collected, we left the marina in very little wind to go and explore some islands. The boys decided this was a perfect time to bring out the power tools and use them as close to the water as possible. We're making rod holders to catch the tuna. Not the tuna, not the tuna. Sweet. Fishing rod holder right there. That job done, time for the next activity. Are we about to do a man overboard situation? <laughs> No. I don't think it goes down. No, I don't think it does. It can always slow down if they move. 
Tristan's trying to pump up Hercules. On the move. On the move. 5.2 knots. Good. Good. <laughs> How are you going to do it? Come in. Take my strong hand. Nice work. We found a beautiful dock where we felt like we were moored up next to the resort swimming pool. After a fish and grilled squid dinner, we left to check out what else was around. Uh, we're at Talashika Nature Park. And apparently we're here. <laughs> then we're gonna walk up to here. I think this is that lake. Oh, that must be the lake, okay. Beautiful. Dangerous cliffs here, I reckon. Here we are looking west across the Adriatic to Italy. We'll be seeing you soon. What, what happened? We've just had the first blowout of the trip. Um, that is a blatant lie. Mm. When it's did in the national park trekking? When did that actually first blow out? When we were drunk the other night. And then when did it blow out again? Five minutes ago before we left the yacht. And someone decided they were still the best trekking shoes. They've still got some life left in them. Since Taryn's the only one with shoes on, we've sent her first because we just had a run in with three black snakes. With no more snake sightings, we find this beautiful lake. Croatia, you're all right. So you're all wet. Yeah. Lost the key to the outboard. Overboard and I jumped in to get it, but I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. It's only 20 metres. <laughs> boys will be boys. And then we head through a very shallow channel to our next anchorage. It's through, bro. Well done. There. Out, some friends. goat and some donkeys all hanging out together on this island in the middle of an island. They knew people wouldn't be happy with their newfound life, so they moved to a remote island. Mom, donkeys! <laughs> Donkey Goat Island. The boys don't catch any fish, but Charlotte does. I want them in my, ba in my bag with my friends. The death bag. <laughs> but he's a girl if we let him go, he's going to tell all his friends to come and ca eat the bait as well and then catch more. Okay, ask him nicely to tell all his friends to catch more bait. Can you get some more baits? Okay, I'll let him back. Yeah. Winning. Here comes Tony's supermarket. No. Stocked up on fruit and veg, but unfortunately not any fish. We head on to see what else we can find.
back through the tiny channel with TR at the helm. Nice work, Skipper. Check out this submarine tunnel. I'm just going to try and anchor just over here somewhere so we can go have an explore. I've dropped the anchor and TR's now tying us up to the rocks so that we don't go swinging into them. Time to swim in for a closer look. The submarine tunnels seem to be hidden all around the islands of Croatia. Most were built during the German occupation in World War II and I find them really creepy. Four-year-old Charlotte doesn't seem to have a problem with them though. Next to the tunnel, the pebbly beach was a lovely place to swim with clear water. Until... And a beautiful encroach and now the wind's just turned and come in. Could get used to waking up to this. <laughs> the weather changes so quickly here. The next morning was calm as anything, and we didn't hit the rocks. Uh. Heading straight downwind, <coughs> goose swinging with the. Um, what do you call it? The boat hook. Oh, the boat hook. It looks like a ring. Try not to get hit in the head with the boom. Check that out. It was back to the marina to say a very sad goodbye to TR, Romy, and Charlotte. TR and Romy left about 20 minutes ago, so we're back to. Getting jobs done. Which up to down there, Jay? Fixing the freezer. It is on this list somewhere. You should never leave me unsupervised. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That. I bought a spinnaker pole. It is a spinnaker pole. It's a bit bigger than I imagined. 5.4 meters. And was that going to live? Don't know. Come and see if I can find a home. I like the gaffer tape. Uh, we're planning on leaving the marina tomorrow, hopefully. So we've been working on our to-do list for the last couple of days. So the diesel tank leak fixed. Diesel tank descale done. Charts for rain rain. The exciting news is, is that in five days time we'll be in Split picking up our new crew members. So to get a little sneak peek into what they're like, you can go to www.page2travel.com and see what we're getting ourselves into. Alright, come on the pole, 45 seconds, here we go. Such a long way, darling.